Hello YouTube world, this is Logic Crazy and I'm Jonathan and today we have another tutorial on creating a Java chess engine. In this tutorial we'll focus on work the rating system which is uh, the main area where our engine needs a lot of work right now. So uh, let's get started at coming up with some basic rating tactics. Now, uh, the most obvious one would be rating the material. And, uh, and that's also, in a sense, one of the easiest methods, at least it would appear to be the easiest method. So, we are going to start with this rating the material. Now, before we do, I noticed one error. If you recall, uh, before we could play a game and this whole rating thing still returns zero but when I make a move the board goes blank and the reason is we called flipboard once but I need to flip the board back again so that the rating doesn't alter the board in the end so now I believe when I move this the computer makes a response move just like so Okay, now let's see. Um, let's work on this rating the material here. Uh, we don't want to just return a zero. Um, instead, we're going to start out with creating an integer counter. And we'll set that to zero at first. And then at the end, we'll return counter. And so in between, we'll add up all the, the white pieces here. So we'll create a for loop. They'll go over each of the 64 lo uh, um, squares on the board, the whole array thing. And let's see if we can just, uh, um, I'm not sure if there's a, a copy thing. Oh, well, we'll just write it in. We'll do a for int i equals 0 i is less than 64 and then i plus plus so there's our whole loop and then we're going to have an if state or a switch statement here I believe um, based on that position on the array so we will create uh, a switch based on chess um, oh based on the uh, I always have to remember this alpha beta chess dot chessboard at location I divided by 8 I modulus 8 this uh, bit of code is getting quite familiar I'm sure to a lot of you all right there is our switch statement and uh, and it will switch based on the um, whatever uh, letter is inside the switch and if nothing is inside it won't find a switch value for that and so nothing will be done about those alright so we'll create a few cases case P and then you put a, a colon and then counter plus equals 100. Now I'm doing this in centipons. Um, um, so there are different ways of getting a value for a board uh, in pieces and I should uh, should have uh, started with this but uh, um, there's something uh, that most people value. Uh, a pawn is worth one, a bishop and a knight are worth three, a queen is worth 9, a rook is worth 5, um, and so on. And so uh, that is a basic way of rating. There are, you know, you can go into decimal places and try to be more accurate, but that's just a general uh, rule of thumb for uh, val how much to value a piece, you know. One uh, queen for 9 pawns maybe, but sometimes those situations that might not be a good idea. Um, 
So anyways, these are just regular guidelines. We can assume a pawn is worth about, and I, I turn it into 100. I always multiply it by 100, and then it's called centi, centi pawns instead of pawn value. Um, and that way I can basically go in decimal places, but as an integer. So 101 would be the equivalent of 1.01 uh, .01 pawns. But so a lot of programmers write in centi pawns to give a more so that they can fine tune these numbers and remain in integers. All right, and then break. And then we do another case, and that's a rook. These are all capitals, and then counter plus equal oops plus equals five hundred for the rook. Ah. This should have been a semicolon. So you strike or a colon. I'm so used to writing semicolons, I forget. Alright. And break that one as well. Now let's copy this. Put it in there a few times. Now this would be a knight and a bishop. And both of those are 300 a piece. And then we have another one which is the queen. And that adds nine, 900. There we go. Now, there are there is one thing I would like to make a little trickier than just this simple this would be enough to get a rating of the pieces. But there's one tactical little rule, and that is, it's just, these are rules of thumb, all these ratings. Um, please always keep that in mind. Um, and that's why an engine search is deeper, to, uh, to try to overcome these uh, rules of thumb when they don't apply. But uh, these uh, values are normally correct, but there's a special case in which the bishop is worth more or less. And that is bishops, there's a white bishop and a black bishop. The white bishop can only travel on white pieces, white squares, the black bishop only travels on black squares. And whenever you have only one bishop, all of a sudden, all the other color squares cannot be accessed. So as soon as you lose a, lose a bishop, a bishop can never make it to half the squares on the board. And that is considered uh, a very bad thing. So in the beginning of the game, if you have a choose, if you could choose between, uh, you know, losing your knight or your bishop, it's better to lose your knight probably. Uh, in some ca in uh, uh, certain cases, because um, bishops are just considered a little more uh, a valuable to lose that first one. It's a bigger deal. Um, and bishops are often worth more in open positions. And knights are worth more in closed positions because they can jump over pieces. They're very unique. And so there are special cases when they should be worth more and less. And you can have if clauses if you want to make this more exact than I am. But I will add this whole bishop thing here. And so the way I could do a special case is uh, right before this whole four thing, I can say... Uh, I'll make another integer. Let's actually just add it after this counter thing. Put in a comma and then call it bishop counter and set that to zero. All right. Uh, there we go. Now, um, what we're going to do is do a counter. Um, with uh, counting how many bishops there are, and then if there's only one bishop or less, uh, or one bishop, then uh, there will be a penalty. So, here is how we do it. Um, instead of this whole bishop counter plus equals 300, we are instead going to do... Um, let's see. Let's do a bishop counter plus 
equals 1. So now, at the end, we'll end up with a, a count of how many bishops there are. And just before this whole return thing, we'll have an if statement. So we'll say if bishop counter is greater or equal to 2. Now, I say greater or equal to 2 because uh, just in case someone uh, creates a board where there's three bishops, I know that's not a, a, a legal or a, a standard chess game, but uh, um, people might, uh, you know, play a game where someone starts out with three just as a, a fun kind of, you know, variation of chess sort of game. So if there's more than two, then we will set the counter, counter plus equals 300 times the bishop counter. So uh, just then just add 300 per piece. Otherwise, do this. And what do we do? Well, we say, let's see. If, now what are the other cases? Bishop counter could either be 0 or 1. So we have a question, if bishop counter equals 1, then counter plus equals 250. So it's worth 250 less if uh, there's only 1. So if there's 1, it's worth 250 a piece. If there's two or more, it's worth 300 a piece, is basically how it goes. So two would be a grand total of 600. One would be a total of 250, which is less than half. All right, and we return a counter. So that is how it rates material. Now, there is one other thing that needs to be changed, and that has to do back in our rating uh, method again. So if we come back here, um, I will not just be returning uh, the uh, rating as is, um, but I want to make a few modifications. The first thing is, the rating needs to be told things. It can already access the, the chess board through alphabeta.chessboard, uh, but I need to input a few other things. One is the int list. And this will be a list of, of moves. The same thing that the move, make move generates. And that way, if the list length is zero, for instance, you know you're either in checkmate or stalemate. And so that's an important thing for the rating thing to know, is how many moves are possible. And also, a position where more moves are possible is a more open position, and therefore may be rated higher than a, a position where, you know, the king only has one escape, and that's not looking so good in general. Okay, so, and another one would be int depth. And the reason for that is, um, as an engine searches deeper and deeper, the uh, accuracy of the rating uh, changes. And um, for, so uh, basically, deeper, uh, uh, deeper rating positions are more important than earlier ones because in initially looking at the board and rating it is not nearly as accurate as searching four moves deep and then rating it. So we will attribute um, um, some... Uh, score to having a deeper depth. Okay, so in the end we will return, it'll actually be negative, just the way I've created the alpha beta thing and this whole rating system. It will be negative, counter plus depth times, and I believe 50 should do the trick. So I'm, a, so I'm saying per depth, multiply that by 50, so if the depth is 3, you get 150 points extra for having searched that deep, basically is what it is. And then you negate the whole thing. So get it from black's side. Always the negative gets it from the other side. So positive would be from white's perspective, negative would be from black's perspective. And that's how our alpha beta thing works, is from the opposite side, from black's perspective. 
So that is uh, basics of how you do it. Now we will just quickly clean up a couple errors and be done here. Um, the rating thing now has an error because it expects two parameters, a list and a depth. So those two things need to be fixed. So if we come back here, we return move plus rating, and then we add here list dot length and depth. Let's see. There, no more errors. So now we know the length. And this will always be in multiples of five, realize. So if there's one move possible, the list length will be five and so on. So just keep that in mind that this number does not, uh, divided by five equals the number of moves that are possible. So there we go. We have sent the two parameters that we need for a rating. Um, it, uh, I'll just make sure there's no errors. Start as human. Um, and hopefully, let's see, if I bring my pawn right here, let's see if it takes it. Yes. Notice that it took my piece because it sees that is an advantage for it. So if I move this one two up, it will always take right now. That's just how it's being programmed to do. Now notice here, it did not take. And why? Well, it saw it takes. That's an advantage at the first depth but then I take, then it takes, and then I take is probably how it's all. I don't know how deep it was, but um, it comes up with some logic for not taking that piece uh, based purely on uh, material. All right, so I hope you've uh, uh, learned something new here. Um, it's still pretty basic stuff. We'll be getting into more advanced uh, rating systems later on in these tutorials. Until next time, enjoy Java.